you guys want some cheap troll packs, well then you're at the right place. Check out Cheap Punk. They have a variety of packs that Troll has to offer. At the end of your checkout, use the code DANNYTM for 6% off your order. Thank you. What is up guys, it's Danny and we're finally back with another troll video and as you guys guessed today we're going to be grinding once again. Uh, so sorry so much for about the, all these grinding videos lately. I know i just been trying to get to level 23, at least trying to get level 23 because I have this sick ass empowered um, gem that I got. It's pretty much a pretty good gem, or it, actually no it's not actually a, a get that good of a gem but it's still a radiant gem that will definitely increase my power rank. This is your gem power rank and this is your overall power rank. So I'm gonna try to at least hit 3k with the next um, couple of um, upgrades I'm gonna be due to my, um, my, my gems. So um, first of all, I'm not gonna be opening any more of these um, empowered gem boxes that I get from these dungeons just because um, I watched Scythe's video today in the morning and he told us that the devs are gonna pretty much change the game and that got me to, or like change the ratio of what type of gems and things you're gonna get oh they already finished that one shit i didn't see that one but yeah they're pretty much gonna be changing um the rng within the chest itself so you can probably get a little bit more uh some of these dust in the chest that you guys are gonna get so yeah i just want to let you guys give a heads up for that as well and if you guys didn't know yet i have a promotional code for cheap punk like in the intro when you guys watch this video in the intro of that um Please use that code because right now he's having a sale on the mantle of power uh, pack so you can get the sampler maniac whatever in the other pack for a relatively cheap price and with my discount code you get it even cheaper so go check that out the sale is going to end on the 26th of April so you guys have a couple more days to do it make sure you guys go check out a shop because he's a um, relatively new uh, uh, shop owner I guess you could say and I really wa really want to help him out as well so Go check out Cheap Punk for really cheap troll packs. So yeah, and let's get back into today's video's topic. Since I watched um, Scythe's video today, you know, it got me thinking. See, I'm not going to open any more of these boxes here. So it got me thinking that is like Mantle of Power really fair for everybody else? Like I know a lot of you guys just started playing Trove and I don't know if it's kind of fair for you guys since they're adding so many things for... This, like mantle power isn't for new players if you guys didn't notice yet it's supposed to be for old players like me that played for quite a bit already so I'm not really sure uh, what's gonna happen to the community now because they're gonna be a lot more behind now which is crazy and I really don't know how they're gonna recover from that and if you guys know how the mastery works now I don't, I don't know how the mastery works you need to get 1,000 mastery points to get level 1 mastery rank because that'd be That'd be really retarded if that was the case. Not gonna lie. So I, I haven't um, really checked out on the master yet or anything like that. I don't know why it's at a 1,000 points, which is fucking crazy. And each mount gives you 50, 50 mastery points, unless they change that. I'm not too sure, but that's crazy how each mastery point is 1,100 now. It's crazy. I should have got mastery 300 before. But you know, I stopped playing because Trophy got really boring, and now I'm, I'm like hooked to this game. So, yeah, it's a pretty good thing today, and I, I literally just got home from school too. So, there, that's dedication for you guys because I really want to get a video up every single day now. Just me grinding Trove, me talking about Trove, and tomorrow I'll probably release a video about um my thoughts on the Mantle of Power update so far because I've been playing it for quite a while now, and for you those of you who are wondering. I did, in fact, get my Patreon. It is a legit site, so Cheap Punk is a legit site. I can confirm that now. Otherwise, I wouldn't be making these promotional video code things. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, go check them out. Four dollars for Patreon. Obviously, you cannot beat that. There's no way you guys cannot beat a four dollar Patreon. If you guys, if you guys are having any problems with that, that that's that's ridiculous. Four dollars for a 15-day Patreon. You can't get anything better than that. So yeah, go check it out. Go check it out. Sorry. Sorry sorry that I'm uh, promoting his site so much. It's because like a lot of people, a lot of Twitch streamers are finding him out. And he's a really good source. So go check him out. 
And then, yeah, that's gonna be, it's gonna be it about the site. I'm not gonna talk any more about the site. So if you guys wanna check out more info about the site, down below in the description. Down below, go check it out right now. And then, uh, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be it talking about the site. I'm not gonna talk about the site anymore. If you guys wanna hear about the site, go check out my last video, my, my promotional video and stuff like that. So I'm done. I, I don't know why I keep talking about the site. I'm, honestly, I really do not know why. But yeah, in this episode, I'm going to try to at least get to level 23. That's my goal for this episode. So let's see if we can hit it. We get about 6k, about, yeah, 6k, 6.5k per per dungeon, which is really, really nice for me. Let me ask for an invite to dungeon plus. I know I spelled dungeon wrong. But who the hell gives a crap? If they invite me, that'd be great. Come on, XX Grim Reaper and XX Zelk Koval. Please invite me. I really want an invite. And, um, yeah, that's gonna be it for the rest of the video. It's just me grinding it out and, um, me asking you guys some questions down below. I guess he's not gonna really invite me because, you know, people who have XX in the name, it's, it's not, I'm not a stereotype, but when it comes to names with XX in the names, I'm kind of guessing they're, they're pretty young. I'm not gonna say any ages, but they're, they're young, they're young kids. And sorry about that guys, I got interrupted by a Skype call. My friend was trying to call me in Skype, I need to finish this video for you guys. First of all, oh shoot, where the hell is the dungeon? Oh, let's, let's just go to this one then, you know. Screw it. And if you guys notice something, I got, I got 1500 cubits now, which is great, absolutely amazing. It's crazy how I get 1500 cubits per, um, per every single day for 15 days straight, which is pretty damn nice. Nice. I like. I like that. And I actually never knew that that they tripled the um, the amount of cubits you get per day by getting Patron, which is pretty damn nice. I like. I really like that. You know, other than the one thousand you get from the uh, weekends, I think you get one thousand from the weekends. I'm not sure if they still have that though. Don't question. Don't quote me on that. Uh, it's pretty nice. I can. Act oh yeah, you didn't know. If you guys don't know how to repair gems, they sell the repair thing in the shop. So. Cubits are a very good source, so make sure you don't spend your cubits on random ass shit. But I'm gonna buy the gem booster boxes, uh, anyways, with the cubits, cause I know I'm probably n I don't want I don't want to jinx it, but I have these boosters that don't let my gems crack. Crack, but just in case they do crack, I'm gonna buy a couple of them instead, cause they're really handy for for uh, uses. You know, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about this the regenerator that's a very good item to have just in case you have any gem breaks you go ahead and use that and your gem is back to normal that thing is very very useful have to say it's one of the best items in trove right now for me actually because like when i started off i didn't really think that you could break your gems i didn't really i didn't read into the patch notes too deeply that you can actually break your gems but when i found out that that's a good thing to have when you're trying to craft gems so Make sure you guys keep a couple of them on you guys at all times, just in case you um, you break it. Let's see here. Let's see what else. What else is there to talk about? Trove. Um, let's let's actually head back to the developers changing the game a little bit. Or oh, yeah, no, no. Let's actually talk about the Lunar Lancer's gem class ability. If you guys didn't know yet, the Lunar Lancer's class gem ability is. You guys, you guys are gonna all pretty much laugh at this. It's pretty much a cloning. It's a clone of this class, basically, that pretty much has auto attacks and and its health degenerates over time, which is kind of dumb in my opinion. Not really a good move for a Lunar Lancer. You expect a Lunar Lancer to have like extra extra attack speed or something like that, or it grows a little bit bigger than the one that it does right now in its like Lunar form, like Stormtrooper form, uh, which is pretty damn crazy to me that Tro will release a clone like. The, the, like the class ability to be able to clone yourself and have another clone of you, which is kind of dumb because if you guys watch Scythe's video, the clone absolutely does nothing so far. I mean, if it, it'd be great if it could be used to another ability instead of just a cloning technique. I'm not really a big fan of that. I really wish it, well, you guys. It, I really wish you could empower your like mouse button to your first ability. Your like. You know your your little swing technique here, like boom, swinging, swinging, boom, boom, swing, swing, like that. I wish, really wish that you can actually empower that, but you know you get a clone instead, which is dumb. Not not the best, but yeah. And the next thing I need to talk to you guys about is stellar gear. It's gonna take me a long ass time to get stellar gear. I need first of all, I need to get my max. I pretty much need to get to level 30 before I can get stellar gear. 
Uh, if you guys don't know, that every single Empowered Gem Socket costs about to level 25. Like 25, once you hit level 25, you'll pretty much uh, unlock all the gem slots. And then you can probably, probably go into the Shadow Realm and probably get your stellar items. But I'm not too sure about that. If you guys didn't watch this video, I told you guys that I... I um, pretty much broke down two Radiant Gears thinking that I, I can get Stellar right away, but boy was I wrong. I should have saved up that Radiant Gear. I don't know why. Um, that, that was dumb of me, honestly. I honestly should have waited, but, you know, lessons learned, right? So, um, yeah, it looks like I don't think we're going to hit uh, level 23 in this video. I'm going to have to do some off-grinding. Let's get to level 23, and I'll show you guys in the next episode. But... Yeah, this is going to be the end, guys. Sorry for my so much rambling. It's pretty much just me grinding this every single day. So I'm going to have to either change something up or if you guys like my um, pretty much grinding and talking about random ass shit, please let me know in the comments down below because I'm, I'm, I really like grinding videos. I really like when just people talk and just people play the game. That's pretty much about what commentating and commentating a game is, just talking and playing the game itself. So if you guys like it please tell me in the comments down below because i read every single comment and i try to respond to every single comment but this week i might be a little bit busy so i might not be able to respond to every single comment there is um so yeah guys that's gonna be it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed i done about 15 dungeons already so that's gonna be it for this video guys we enjoyed make sure to like and comment down below and i'll see you guys all next episode peace out